Go! Breastfeeding while towing down a trailer. Guys, I'm married Wonder Woman. Guys, it's happening. Demo day is here. Wow, what a week it's been. We've gone through a lot. There's no water. We've been redigging trenches, relaying water lines, and hooking up the new water system. All right, give that a try. Right. But then to find out our water pump was broken, burned up, and so we got a new pump. Hey, it's working! Demo day is here. Oh my goodness. We've had so many people come out, help us to take down the old trailer and the old shed, and we've got a ton done. It's been a lot of fun. We're tired. We're thankful for everybody who came out for demo day. Check it out. We had a ton of fun. All right, guys, I need to give you an update here because we are waterless. We are dry on the homestead. We were disconnecting the old system and the old trailer from the well so that we could redirect the well. And you saw that on the, the last episode, us digging this trench for the new water line to go from the well to the solar shed. Well, I made the mistake, and I still don't know exactly what I've done, but I cut the line that goes from the well to the trailer. Well, I was thinking I would still be able to run the pump off the generator. Uh, this goes down into the well. My hope was that I could still run the pump and get water out of there from the well. But when I cut the line, I think I lost prime because there's nothing coming out. So I'm thinking that uh, I'm gonna have to prime the pump again by feeding water down in there. Uh, I'm gonna call some, some friends and get some, some expert advice, but uh, I think that's what my problem is. Uh, so we're on day two of no water here, uh, which is making life a little more difficult because we can't wash dishes or take showers. So this is not ideal, but we're gonna figure it out. But we're glad to have the trench done. That is a big task complete. And now we just need to finish running the lines, getting the new water system set up, getting the pressure tank and everything connected. And then we gotta find a way, we gotta find a way to get water up here so that we can feed it down into the well uh, and down into the pump and prime the pump. So I don't know how we're gonna do that yet. So one obstacle at a time, please. Um, but the reason why we're using the iron and the uh, galvanized steel is because we would like to avoid plastic as much as possible. And it's specifically um, PVC. PVC is the worst. Um, it's, it's highly toxic, it leaches very badly, um, and you can imagine what My it's doing nail. to our water source. My nail! Uh, oh, no. PVC is, is seriously one of the worst plastics, and unfortunately it's used in just about everything it is just efficient and quick and easy and and it's also inexpensive so there's a lot of reasons why people use it um, it's just not certainly not the best option out there for everyone's um, care that's why we're going with this route but we're we're learning a lot as we're going through it and hopefully caring for people and the earth and everything that God has given us at the same time. That's what we're hoping for. We, we also know that we don't know everything and that we're still learning and growing.
Mom's got a new toy. I do. What do you think? That's fun. I'm very excited. It uh, does a lot more work in a lot little time. Wow. Than the lopper. Yeah. Uh, it, it was like slicing through those. Oh, that's Crazy. nice. Our dreadlocks. We'd like to thank our posts have dreadlocks. Way to go, babe. Thanks. These bugs are the worst. Goodness gracious. Yeah, so we we need water, you know? We're we're out of water and there's only so much time in the during the day. Uh and so this is not usual uh for me to be working all night like this, but uh just really feel like I gotta get this done. One because I love my family and because I love a shower. And we have no water until I get this done. So so trying to connect all these pipes, 200 feet of pipe, uh, every 10 feet have an, another coupling. But that just takes a lot of time to, to seal each one of these joints for all 200 feet. So that's what we're working on tonight. I figured if I still have energy and battery and supplies, I have to have all three of those things or this doesn't work. It's coming along guys, don't worry. We're gonna have water here soon enough. All right, we're back at it this morning and we are just about done. If any of these ever leak. You can try again. It's all about home setting. Yeah, but sometimes I don't want to do things again. But you're right, that's all about, that's how we learn is we have to have the freedom to fail, learn from the mistake, Cause if, keep going. if you didn't fail, then you wouldn't know what failing would be. You wouldn't know that's a true. different way. That's true. It's very true. However, there's some times where failing is devastating. Yeah. And this would be one of those times. If we ever had to redo all of this, It'd be I would I would feel very defeated. But we're getting there. All right. This is actually our last uh, coupling, our last little fitting here before we connect the pump. After a lot of failing forward, we got the line in the ground. It is connected to the pressure tank in the solar shed. The last thing that we've got to do here is connect, connect it to the well, and then find some water and try to prime the pump. I've gotten different, uh, different opinions as we've tried to research about these submersible pumps is some people say they shouldn't need to be primed because it's submerged in water. We'll see, but first let's just see if we can get this thing connected. All right, my brother-in-law Jay has brought us a huge uh, load of maple lumber, and uh, this is gonna be the siding for the solar shed. That's the plan, at least. All right, it's demo day here on the homestead, and we got family and friends coming out to help us. We're starting with the old shed today, because this is where the solar panels are gonna go. And so the goal is to get this thing out of here. And, uh, and then the other projects we're gonna tackle, we may start on the trailer, I don't know, but we have that dumpster. And uh, we're gonna salvage what we can, some of the tin, some of the lumber, and then the rest is uh, gonna be hauled off. So we're getting at it this morning. Good work, 
daddy -o. We're getting some stuff done here. And I am going to pick up the trailer and carry it down to the dump. Let's do it. Let's pick it up. I'll get one end, you get the other. All right. a pile of good stuff. This window is good. Yes, yeah. Okay. That one, I'm not so sure. Okay. Oh, Ooh. well, this the bucket thing happened. is the preserved. What is it? It's a lizard. Oh, a lizard. Look at him. Oh, he's mummified. He is he's mummified. completely mummified. He's a lizard he's mummy. Me, you, you have a new job, so a new profession. <laughs> All right, so I got my I got my buddies out here helping us on demo day. We went ahead and took a look at the uh, well together, and uh, so we pulled the line all the way up to take a look at the pump. So the good news is, I think the uh, well is fine. I don't think it's run dry. It looks good. Uh, the bad news is, we think the pump is is bad. So we're gonna just gonna replace the the pump. All the line looks good, and so I'm hoping it'll be a simple fix. We could just replace the pump here, connect the new one, put it back in the ground, and see if we can get water. So that's the task. Next is uh, we're gonna go buy. Uh, a new pump. In the meantime, we got people working on the old shed. It is just about down. We're gonna salvage some of that lumber. We got tons of people gutting the old trailer. And so they're in there working. We got people working everywhere. So what a huge blessing. We are stoked to have family and friends out here helping us out on the homestead. And uh, it's been a great day. We're getting a ton done. So I'm here with my buddy, Tim from C&D Farms. And uh, he's helping me put on the new well pump. Tim being here to help us. We've been without water all week. And we've been trying to finish digging this trench and get it, get it all run. And then to find out that the pump didn't work uh, was <laughs> been a long, it's been a long week and a tough one. So we're thankful to have uh, family and friends here helping us out. It's been a huge encouragement. Uh, I did, we've gotten so much done today. It's amazing. I mean, so much has happened in one afternoon. It's crazy to think about, you know, a lot of people doing a little bit uh, goes a long way rather than, you know, one person doing all the work themselves. Think about it in terms of discipleship and how much we rely on the professional pastors and missionaries or whatever to do all of the work, to do the ministry, rather than the way Jesus intended and designed for his church to operate was everyone doing a little, uh, everyone making disciples and pouring your life into a few people, loving God, loving people, loving your neighbors, making disciples, teaching them to follow Jesus and to make this disciples themselves, which reproduces and multiplies that way, right? It's the way we're in, it's the way Jesus intended uh, to do it in community, to do it together. We're not called to be isolated. We're called for community and we're all called to this. So those are all things we're learning.
ready to move the front porch from the trailer and the new design will be a multi-stall bathroom. All right, so we're super excited. We don't have to construct it from the ground up. We've got something existing and now we're gonna utilize it for a new restroom area. That way guests can just come and go freely. They don't have to go through our camper. Woo -hoo. I think it's gonna be okay. Tell us what's going on, girls. I don't know what's happening. Oh, take over the towing for a little bit. See how this works. In and out of the way. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Wow, guys, we are beat. What a day, what a week. It has been a lot. We're so thankful for everybody who came out and uh, what a blessing has been. We've accomplished so much. We wanna say thank you to Tim at c &D Farms for all of his help and expertise, uh, a wealth of knowledge. He's been a huge help to us. Thank you uh, to my parents, Keisha's parents, Joy and Jay, their family, Mark, everybody who came out, grateful for you guys. Guys, love you so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, listen, this is the last episode for a little while. We're gonna be taking a little break, but we will be back with more content more adventures from the homestead. So stay tuned and uh, as always be blessed and go be a blessing. See ya. We got water! It's working! We've gone a week with no water. How do you turn it off? This is amazing. Well, All right, well one thing left to do is now gotta reconnect these pipes so that we can get water where it needs to go.